Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can insert a Kahoot-like question in your PowerPoint slideshow. This is not a real Kahoot quiz in the PowerPoint, no. Our users don't need to log in, join with the phone, you don't need any plugins for this. This was more like a fake slide that looked like a question, so you can engage your students, your audience, all right? so you lecturing and then the Kahoot like question appears your viewers can answers out loud they can make a notes with the answers whatever you like all right so let's create a slide that is like a Kahoot quiz question all right this is a blank slide here let me just insert so I'm in the insert tab insert a text box this way we will have space to type our question so we got a text box at the top. Feel free to do some formatting to it so we can head back to home. We can put the text to the center, make it a bit larger, easier to read from the distance. I strongly recommend to stick with the simplicity. So black text on the white backdrop and that's it. Below, there'll be an empty space for a picture. So if you need a question of the picture, you can insert that below your question. In case there's no picture, you can move your question more to the center like that, but I will leave the space for the picture. Let me just grab a picture, copy and paste an image. I will scale it down, place to the center, and again, keep it simple. We need more space below, so it's a bit smaller. All right, we got question, we got a picture. Now time for answers. As you may remember, in Kahoot quiz, answers are inside. Rectangles. So let's draw four rectangles. I start with one. All right. Here's the rectangle. And then we can follow the colors from the Kahoot quiz. So in Kahoot, we got four colors. We will stick with that. And then no border. I will double tap and then I can I can type something inside. I like to do it before I copy this and paste so it's already there and I don't need to format this multiple times. All right, and now I can just copy paste. So I'm using command C, command V, command C, command V. All right, and we got four boxes. Now we need to just simply recolor them. So this one will be a blue. yellow and green all right that's nice and in addition you may remember kahoot use the symbols as well that's really nice because we got colors so people can scream blue answer blue answer but they can also see a shape in case they got troubles in recognition colors so that's really handy we can put some shapes around here so let's do that as well go with the rectangle no outline and white color again inset shape this time this will be a circle i'm drawing this next to this triangle over here so i'm will i'm sure that the same size i like keep stuff in the same size all right what next of course there's also rectangle for green color if you want to keep this rectangle as a perfect square just hold shift on your keyboard all right let's compare the size perfect and then we need uh, one more that will be again we can just copy and paste this rectangle with a rotation to it just like that and that's for the blue answer and our template is prepared now you can just duplicate that multiple times whatever you need i suggest not to include too many questions in the series if you actually got tons of questions why not to use the real kahoot quiz okay so here's our fake Kahoot slide that will help you to engage your audience. 
let's add some animations this way we will be able to display which answer is correct all right so people don't need to guess maybe they cannot hear you well so after you click the wrong answers will be marked so we can know which answer is correct so let's say in this case in this case the answer the blue answer is correct one so what can we do we can select wrong answers i select all three same time holding shift then i go to animation and what can i do here i can use exit animation and we can make them just disappear so only the correct answer will stay this will give this additional time for our viewers to memorize which answer was correct one so we can use uh, some fancy uh, animation so let's sync down them all right that's nice let's look into animation panel it's on the click all three will sync down together so that's nice let's test it out right so play what country is it you click again you ask your students first viewer first right they give you some answers maybe you can even prepare uh, some printouts with shapes right triangle square circle so they can show that in the air it's up to you and then you click again and the correct answer will stay on the screen give it a moment let people check it out and then you can click again move to the next one so you can put it directly in the powerpoint between your lectures just to check that people are still listening to you to increase their engagement we can of course duplicate this one let me help you by creating the version where the red answer is correct so i need to go to animation all right and we'll get rid of that and in this one we will select here and the same thing exit animation i will sync them down and now the red answer stays so we need a few more duplicate this one okay let's get rid of this now there will be a yellow answer stay sync down the rest okay and then in the last one the green answer will stay on the screen all right perfect so that's how you can create a nice kahoot like slide and put it into your presentation you also can simply download this slide from this tutorial i will put the link to this free template in the description below so don't forget that you can download my resources for free and then you can simply copy and paste the one you need all right if this is your first time here remember to subscribe so you will not miss a future templates and tutorials for powerpoint all right thank you for today i will see you in the next lesson bye